From the electrifying opening notes of Purple Haze to the unforgettable solo in Stairway to Heaven, the greatest guitarists have left an unerasable mark on the world of music. Today, we're counting down the top 20 guitarists of all time, celebrating the incredible skills, innovative techniques, and unparalleled musicianship that have inspired generations of aspiring shredders. Get ready to experience jaw-dropping solos, unforgettable riffs, and the sheer artistry of these guitar gods. Whether you're a diehard fan or a casual listener, you're in for a treat as we pay tribute to the musical maestros who made the guitar the iconic instrument it is today. So sit back, turn up the volume, and join us on this unforgettable journey through the archives of guitar history. 20. Dwayne Allman The legendary guitarist and leader of the Allman Brothers Band left an extraordinary mark on rock music despite his tragically short life. Born in 1946 in Nashville, Tennessee, Allman developed a passion for the guitar at a young age. He formed the Allman Brothers Band with his brother Greg in 1969, blending blues, jazz, and rock to create a unique sound that would influence generations of musicians. Allman's guitar work was characterized by his masterful slide playing and improvisational skills. He was known for his ability to seamlessly blend lead and rhythm playing, creating intricate and emotive melodies. Allman's collaborations with Eric Clapton on the iconic Derek and the Dominoes album, Layla and other assorted love songs, further cemented his status as a guitar virtuoso. Unfortunately, Dwayne Allman died in a motorcycle accident in 1971 at the age of 24. Despite his short life, his contributions to rock music are immeasurable. The Allman Brothers Band's live album, At Fillmore East, remains a testament to his incredible talent and the band's unparalleled musicianship. 19. Angus Young Lead guitarist and one of the co-founders of the rock band ACDC is famed for his intense energetic stage presence and distinctive guitar sound. Born in 1955 in Glasgow, Scotland, Young moved with his family to Australia in 1963. He formed ACDC with his brother Malcolm in 1973, and the group quickly gained a glowing reputation for their high-octane performances and catchy rock anthems. Young's guitar playing is characterized by his use of simple yet powerful riffs and his ability to create memorable guitar hooks. His signature sound is often achieved using a Gibson SG guitar and Marshall amplifiers. ACDC's albums, such as Highway to Hell and Back in Black, have become classics of the rock genre, thanks in large part to Young's guitar work. Despite being in his late 60s, Angus Young continues to tour and perform with ACDC, entertaining audiences with his schoolboy uniform and duck-walking stage antics. His influence on rock music is unmistakable, and he remains one of the most recognizable and beloved guitarists in the world. 18. Frank Zappa Frank Zappa was a true innovator, pushing the boundaries of rock, jazz, and classical music with his eclectic and often unconventional approach to the guitar. Born in 1940 in Baltimore, Maryland, Zappa's musical career spanned over three decades, during which he put out more than five dozen albums as a solo artist and with his band, The Mothers of Invention. Zappa's guitar playing was characterized by his use of unorthodox techniques, such as odd time signatures, complex rhythms, and atonal melodies. He was also known for his use of humor and satire in his music, often incorporating elements of absurdism and social commentary into his lyrics and compositions. Some of Zappa's most famous works include the albums Hot Rats, Joe's Garage, and Shake Your Booty. 
His influence on modern music is far-reaching, with countless artists citing him as an inspiration. Zappa passed away in December of 1993 at the age of 52, but his legacy as a musical pioneer and guitar virtuoso lives on. 17. Peter Green, Fleetwood Mac. Peter Green, born Peter Allen Greenbaum, in 1946 in London, England, was a blues rock guitarist, singer, and songwriter, best known as the founder of Fleetwood Mac. Green's guitar playing was renowned for its emotional depth, melodic phrasing, and distinctive tone, which he achieved through his 1959 Gibson Les Paul, later known as Greeny. Green began his career as a member of John Mayall's Blues Breakers, where he replaced Eric Clapton and quickly established himself as a formidable guitarist. In 1967, he formed Fleetwood Mac with drummer Mick Fleetwood and bassist John McVie, and the band released their self-titled debut album, which showcased Green's exceptional guitar work and songwriting skills. During his time with Fleetwood Mac, Green penned several of the band's most memorable songs, including Black Magic Woman, Oh Well, and the hauntingly beautiful instrumental Albatross. His guitar playing on these tracks demonstrated his ability to blend blues, rock, and psychedelic elements into a unique and captivating sound. However, Green's tenure with Fleetwood Mac was relatively short-lived as he left the band in 1970 due to personal conflicts and mental health struggles. Despite his departure, his influence on the band's early sound and the wider world of blues rock cannot be overstated. In his later years, Green continued to play and record music, collaborating with various artists and releasing solo albums. His legacy as one of the most influential and gifted guitarists of his generation has only grown stronger over time, with countless musicians citing him as an inspiration. Peter Green's emotive, soulful playing style and his significant contributions to the development of blues rock have firmly cemented his position among the greatest guitarists of all time. 16. Jerry Garcia, Grateful Dead. Jerry Garcia, the iconic lead guitarist and a founding member of the Grateful Dead, was a pioneering figure in the psychedelic rock movement. Born in 1942 in San Francisco, California, Garcia's unique guitar style blended elements of rock, folk, bluegrass, and jazz, creating a sound that would become synonymous with the counterculture of the 1960s and beyond. Garcia's guitar playing was defined by his fluid improvisational approach and his ability to seamlessly transition between genres and styles. His use of the Jerry Garcia signature model guitar, custom made by luthier Doug Irwin, became an integral part of his sound. The Grateful Dead's live performances were legendary for their lengthy exploratory jams, with Garcia's guitar work often taking center stage. Some of the Grateful Dead's most famous songs, such as Dark Star, Sugar Magnolia, and Casey Jones, showcase Garcia's inventive guitar playing and his ability to craft memorable, melodic solos. The band's influence extends far beyond their music as they were known for their dedicated fan base, known as Deadheads, and their role in shaping the counterculture movement. Throughout his career, Garcia collaborated with numerous musicians, including David Grisman, Merle Saunders, and John Kahn, underscoring his unmatchable versatility and willingness to explore different musical avenues. His work outside the Grateful Dead, such as his acoustic project, Garcia Grisman, and his solo albums, further demonstrated his wide-ranging talents. Jerry Garcia embarked on his final cosmic journey in 1995, bidding farewell to the mortal coil at the age of 53, but not before leaving an enduring imprint on the tightly woven tapestry of rock music. His spirit lives on, a guiding force for aspiring jam musicians who seek to unlock the secrets of improvisation and musical exploration. The Grateful Dead's timeless melodies and psychedelic soundscapes remain a sacred text in the rock and roll Bible cherished by devotees and newcomers alike. Garcia's otherworldly guitar prowess has earned him a seat at the table of the gods, 
a true innovator whose name is forever etched in the hallowed halls of musical greatness. 15. George Harrison George Harrison, the lead guitarist of a little group known as the Beatles, ever hear of them, was a key figure in the development of rock music and the popularization of world music. Born in 1943 in Liverpool, England, Harrison joined the Beatles in 1958 and played a crucial role in the band's rise to global fame. Harrison's guitar playing was characterized by his melodic sensibility and his incorporation of various musical styles, including Indian classical music and psychedelia. His use of the 12-string guitar on songs like A Hard Day's Night and Here Comes the Sun became iconic and has been widely imitated by guitarists around the world. In addition to his work with the Beatles, Harrison had a successful solo career, releasing acclaimed albums such as All Things Must Pass and Cloud Nine. He was also a pioneer in the use of the slide guitar in rock music and collaborated with Indian musicians such as Ravi Shankar. Harrison passed on in 2001 at the age of 58, but his legacy as a guitarist and songwriter continues to inspire musicians around the world. He was inducted into the prestigious Rock and Roll Hall of Fame not once, but twice. First as a member of the Beatles in 88, and then again as a solo artist in 2004. 14. Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan was a near-mythical blues and rock guitarist known for his incredible technique, soulful playing, and electrifying stage presence. Born in 1954 in Dallas, Texas, Vaughan began playing guitar at a young age and quickly developed a reputation as a prodigy. Vaughan's guitar playing was noted for his use of heavy string bending, vibrato, and his ability to seamlessly blend blues, rock, and jazz influences. His albums, such as Texas Flood and Couldn't Stand the Weather, are considered classics of the blues genre and showcase his incredible musicianship. Tragically, Vaughn was taken from us much too soon when he died in a helicopter crash in 1990 at the age of 35, just as his career was reaching new heights. Despite his short life, Vaughn's influence on blues and rock music is immeasurable. He has since been inducted into the Blues Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and his tunes continue to edify and inspire legions of aspiring guitarists. 13. Mark Knopfler, Dire Straits. Mark Knopfler, the lead guitarist and main vocalist of the British rock band Dire Straits, is known for his distinctive finger-picking style and his ability to effortlessly blend various musical genres, including rock, country yage, and folk. Born in 1949 in Glasgow, Scotland, Knopfler formed Dire Straits in 1977 and quickly gained international success with their debut album. Knopfler's guitar playing is characterized by his use of finger picking instead of a pick, which allows him to create intricate and expressive melodies. His tone, often described as warm and smooth, is achieved through his use of vintage guitars and amplifiers. Dire Straits songs such as Sultans of Swing, Money for Nothing, and Brothers in Arms have become classic rock staples and showcase Knopfler's incredible musicianship. In addition to his work with Dire Straits, Knopfler has had a successful solo career and has collaborated with countless artists, including Bob Dylan and Chet Atkins. He has won four Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Dire Straits in 2018. Knopfler's unique guitar style and songwriting prowess have made him one of the most respected and influential guitarists of his time. 12. Pete Townsend, The Who.
Pete Townsend, the lead guitarist and main songwriter of the iconic British rock outfit The Who, is known for his aggressive playing style, innovative use of feedback, and his role in the development of the rock opera. Born in 1945 in London, England, Townsend formed The Who in 1964 and helped shape the sound and attitude of rock music in the 1960s and 1970s. Townsend's guitar playing is characterized by his powerful chord work, use of feedback and distortion, and his trademark windmill strumming technique. He is also known for his use of the Gibson SG and Rickenbacker guitars, as well as his experimentation with synthesizers and other electronic instruments. The Who's albums, such as Tommy, Who's Next, and Quadrophenia, are considered masterpieces of the rock genre and showcase Townsend's songwriting and guitar skills. In addition to his work with The Who, Townsend has had a successful solo career and has been involved in various philanthropic and charitable efforts. He has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, first as a member of The Who in 1990 and then as a solo artist in 2008. 11. David Gilmour, Pink Floyd. David Gilmour, the lead guitarist and vocalist of the progressive rock band Pink Floyd, is known for his emotive playing style, use of effects, and his role in shaping the band's iconic sound. Born in 1946 in Cambridge, England, Gilmour joined Pink Floyd in 1967 and became a key creative force in the band. Gilmour's guitar playing is characterized by his melodic sensibility, use of sustain and delay effects, and his ability to create atmospheric and psychedelic soundscapes. His solos, such as those in Comfortably Numb and Time, are considered some of the greatest in rock history and showcase his incredible musicianship and emotive power. Aside from his work with Pink Floyd, Gilmore has had a successful solo career and has collaborated with numerous artists, including Kate Bush and Paul McCartney. He has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Pink Floyd and has received dozens of awards and accolades for his innumerable contributions to music. Gilmore's influence on rock and progressive music is immeasurable, and his guitar playing continues to inspire generations of musicians. His unique sound and approach to the instrument have made him one of the most respected and beloved guitarists of all time. 10. Known mononymously as Prince, was a multi-instrumentalist, singer, songwriter, and guitarist who left an indelible mark on popular music. Born in 1958 in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Prince was a musical prodigy who mastered numerous instruments at a young age and began recording music as a teenager. As a guitarist, Prince was known for his virtuosic playing style, incorporating elements of rock, funk, blues, and jazz. His use of unconventional chord progressions, intricate solos, and innovative guitar effects helped define his unique sound. Prince's albums, such as Purple Rain, 1999, and Sign of the Times, are considered classics of the pop and rock genres and showcase his incredible musicianship and songwriting skills. In addition to his musical talents, Prince was beloved for his flamboyant stage presence, androgynous fashion sense, and his ability to blend various musical genres into a cohesive whole. He was also a prolific songwriter, penning hits for other artists such as Sinead O'Connor and The Bangles. Heartbreakingly, Prince passed away in 2016 at the age of 57, but his legacy as a musical innovator and guitar icon lives on. He has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and has won numerous awards, including seven Grammy Awards and an Academy Award. All said, Prince's influence on popular music is absolutely immeasurable, and his incomparable guitar playing continues to inspire musicians around the globe. 9. Carlos Santana Carlos Santana is a Mexican-American guitarist and songwriter known for his unique blend of rock, Latin, and jazz influences. Born in 1947 in Jalisco, Mexico, Santana began playing guitar at a young age and gained prominence in the late 60s with his band, Santana. Santana's guitar playing is characterized by his distinctive tone, 
use of sustained notes, and his ability to seamlessly blend various musical genres. His incorporation of Latin percussion and rhythms into his music helped popularize Latin rock and brought a new level of cultural diversity to the rock scene. Santana's albums such as Abraxas and Supernatural have sold millions of copies worldwide and have earned him numerous awards and accolades. Throughout his career, Santana has collaborated with a wide range of artists, including Eric Clapton, Rob Thomas, and Michelle Branch. He has also been involved in various philanthropic efforts, using his music to promote social and political causes. Santana has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and has received numerous awards, including a staggering 10 Grammy Awards and three Latin Grammy Awards. Eight, Chuck Berry. <laughs> Chuck Berry was a pioneering guitarist, singer, and songwriter who is often credited with helping to define the sound and style of rock and roll music. Born in 1926 in St. Louis, Missouri, Berry began playing guitar as a teenager and gained popularity in the 1950s with his unique blend of blues, country, and R&B influences. Berry's guitar playing was characterized by his distinctive double-stop bends, quick licks, and his ability to seamlessly blend rhythm and lead playing. His songwriting, which often featured humorous and relatable lyrics about teenage life and American culture, helped establish the template for rock and roll music. Songs like Johnny B. Good, Roll Over Beethoven, and Maybelline have become classics of the genre and have been covered by countless artists. Barry's influence on rock music cannot be overstated. He has been cited as a major influence by countless guitarists, including Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, and Jimi Hendrix. His showmanship and stage presence also helped set the standard for rock and roll performance, with his signature Duck Walk becoming a staple of his live shows. Barry's contributions to music have been recognized with numerous awards and honors, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. He passed away in 2017 at the age of 90, but his legacy as a guitar icon and founding father of rock and roll music lives on. 7. Eddie Van Halen <laughs> Eddie Van Halen was a virtuoso guitarist, keyboardist, and songwriter who revolutionized the sound and technique of rock guitar playing. Born in 1955 in Amsterdam, Netherlands, Van Halen moved to the United States as a child and began playing music at a young age. In 1974, he formed the band Van Halen with his brother Alex, bassist Michael Anthony, and vocalist David Lee Roth. Van Halen's guitar playing was characterized by his incredible speed, precision, and innovative use of tapping, harmonics, and effects. His signature two-handed tapping technique, which allowed him to play rapid-fire notes and intricate melodies, became a staple of his playing style and influenced generations of guitarists. Van Halen's solos, such as those in Eruption and Panama, are considered some of the greatest in rock history and showcase his unparalleled technical skill and creativity. In addition to his guitar playing, Van Halen was also a talented keyboardist and songwriter, contributing to many of the band's most memorable songs. The band's self-titled debut album, dropped in 1978, features classic tracks like Runnin' With The Devil and Ain't Talking About Love and has sold over 10 million copies in the United States alone. Throughout his storied career, Van Halen continued to push the boundaries of what was possible on the guitar, experimenting with new sounds and techniques. He also collaborated with a wide range of artists, including Michael Jackson, Brian May, and LL Cool J. Sadly, Eddie Van Halen passed away in 2020 at the age of 65 after a long battle with cancer. His legacy as a guitar icon and innovator lives on, however, and his influence on rock music cannot be overstated. He has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and has received countless awards and accolades for his contributions to music. 6. B.B. King
B.B. King was a legendary blues guitarist, singer, and songwriter who helped popularize the genre and influenced generations of musicians. Born Riley B. King in 1925 in Mississippi, he began his career in the 1940s, performing on street corners and in local clubs. King's guitar playing was characterized by his distinctive vibrato, expressive bends, and economical yet powerful phrasing. His guitar, which he affectionately named Lucille, became an iconic symbol of his music. King's vocals, which were equally as expressive as his guitar playing, conveyed a depth of emotion that resonated with audiences around the world. Throughout his career, King released over 50 albums and had numerous hit singles, including The Thrill Is Gone, Sweet Sixteen, and Every Day I Have the Blues. He toured extensively, performing up to 300 shows a year at the height of his career and won 15 Grammy Awards. King's influence on blues and rock music cannot be overstated. He has been cited as a major influence by countless guitarists, including Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, and Stevie Ray Vaughan. His music also helped break down racial barriers as he performed for integrated audiences during a time of segregation in the United States. B.B. King passed away in 2015 at the age of 89, but his legacy as one of the greatest blues musicians of all time lives on. He was inducted into the Blues Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and received numerous awards and honors throughout his career. Five, Jeff Beck. <laughs> Jeff Beck was an English rock guitarist known for his virtuosic playing style, innovative use of effects, and eclectic musical taste. Born Jeffrey Arnold Beck in 1944, he rose to prominence in the 1960s as a member of the Yardbirds, where he replaced Eric Clapton and played alongside Jimmy Page. Beck's guitar playing was characterized by his exceptional technical skill, fluid legato phrasing, and expressive use of the whammy bar. He was equally adept at playing blues, rock, jazz fusion, and even classical music, and his eclectic musical taste set him apart from many of his contemporaries. After leaving the Yardbirds, Beck formed the Jeff Beck Group, which featured Rod Stewart on vocals and Ronnie Wood on bass. The group released several influential albums, including Truth and Beck Ola, which showcased Beck's incredible guitar playing and helped establish him as one of the premier guitarists of his generation. Throughout his career, Beck continued to push the boundaries of what was possible on the guitar. He experimented with new sounds and techniques, incorporating elements of electronic music, jazz fusion, and even Indian classical music into his playing. He collaborated with a wide range of artists, including Jan Hammer, Stevie Wonder, and Tina Turner, and released several acclaimed solo albums. Beck's influence on rock and jazz music cannot be overstated. He has been cited as a major influence by countless guitarists, including Brian May, Joe Satriani, and Steve Vai. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, first as a member of the Yardbirds in 1992, and then as a solo artist in 2009. Jeff Beck died in January 2023 at the age of 78. His death was a profound loss for the music world, but his legacy as one of the greatest guitarists of all time will endure. Four, Keith Richards, The Rolling Stones. Keith Richards is an English guitarist, singer, and songwriter, best known as a founding member of the Rolling Stones. Born in 1943 in Kent, England, Richards met Mick Jagger as a teenager, and the two formed the Rolling Stones in 1962. Richards' guitar playing is characterized by his distinctive riffs, open chord tunings, and rhythmic style. He often plays both lead and rhythm guitar parts, creating a full, rich sound that is instantly recognizable. Richard's playing style is deeply rooted in the blues, but he has also incorporated elements of rock, country, and reggae into his music. As a member of the Rolling Stones, Richards has co-written some of the most iconic songs in rock history, including I Can't Get No Satisfaction, Jumpin' Jack Flash, 
and Gimme Shelter. His songwriting partnership with Mick Jagger is one of the most successful in music history and has produced numerous hit singles and albums over the past six decades. In addition to his work with the Rolling Stones, Richards has also released several solo albums and collaborated with a wide range of artists, including Tom Waits, Aretha Franklin, and reggae legend Peter Tosh. He has also acted in several films, including Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Richard's influence on rock music cannot be overstated. He has been cited as a major influence by countless guitarists, including Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, and Eddie Van Halen. His unique playing style and songwriting ability have helped define the sound of rock music for generations. Throughout his career, Richards has also been known for his rebellious persona and notorious drug use. Despite his personal struggles, however, he has remained a vital force in music for over half a century. In 2011, Richards was ranked fourth on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. Keith Richards continues to tour and record with the Rolling Stones and shows no signs of slowing down. Three, Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page is an English guitarist, songwriter, and record producer, best known as the founder and lead guitarist of the rock band Led Zeppelin. Born in 1944 in Middlesex, England, Page began his career as a session musician in the 1960s, playing on recordings by artists such as The Kinks, The Who, and The Rolling Stones. In 1968, Page formed Led Zeppelin with vocalist Robert Plant, bassist John Paul Jones, and drummer John Bonham. The band's heavy blues-influenced sound and Page's virtuosic guitar playing helped define the sound of hard rock and heavy metal in the 1970s. Page's guitar playing is characterized by his use of heavy riffs, intricate solos, and innovative recording techniques. He is known for his use of a Gibson Les Paul guitar and Marshall amplifiers, as well as his experimentation with different tunings and effects pedals. Page's solos on songs like Stairway to Heaven Whole Lot of Love and Kashmir are considered some of the greatest in rock history. As a songwriter and producer, Page played a key role in shaping Led Zeppelin's sound. He wrote or co-wrote many of the band's most famous songs, including Black Dog, Ramble On, and Rock and Roll. He also produced all of the band's albums, experimenting with novel recording techniques and pushing the bounds of what was thought possible in the studio. After Zeppelin disbanded in 1980 following the death of John Bonham, Page continued to work as a solo artist and collaborator. He has released several highly praised solo albums and collaborated with artists such as Paul Rogers, The Black Crows, and Puff Daddy. Page's impact on rock music cannot be overstated. He has been cited as a major influence by countless guitarists, including Eddie Van Halen, Slash and Jack White. His innovative playing style and recording techniques have helped shape the sound and vibe of hard rock and heavy metal for generations. Throughout his career, Page has been recognized with numerous awards and honors. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, first as a member of the Yardbirds in 1992, and then as a member of Led Zeppelin in 1995. In 2005, he was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, for his services to music. Two, Eric Clapton. <laughs> Eric Clapton is an English rock and blues guitarist, singer, and songwriter. Born Eric Patrick Clapton in 1945 in Surrey, England, he began his career in the early 1960s as a member of the Yardbirds and later joined John Mayall and the Blues Breakers. Clapton's guitar playing is characterized by his fluid, expressive style and his ability to blend elements of blues, rock, and jazz into his music. He is known for his use of a Fender Stratocaster guitar and his signature woman tone, a warm, sustained sound achieved through the use of a Gibson Les Paul and a Marshall amplifier. In the late 1960s, Clapton formed the supergroup Cream with drummer Ginger Baker and bassist Jack Bruce. The band's pioneering blend of blues, rock, and psychedelia helped define the sound of the era and established Clapton as one of the premier guitarists of his generation. After Cream disbanded, Clapton formed another supergroup, Blind Faith, 
before embarking on a successful solo career. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Clapton released a string of acclaimed albums, including 461 Ocean Boulevard, Slow Hand, and Journeyman. He also collaborated with a wide range of artists, including Bob Dylan, Tina Turner, and Phil Collins. Clapton's guitar playing has been a major influence on generations of musicians. His solos on songs like Crossroads, White Room, and Layla are considered some of the greatest in rock history. And his ability to blend technical skill with emotional expressiveness has set the standard for guitar playing in popular music. In addition to his musical feats, Clapton has also been involved in many charitable causes throughout his career. He has been a longtime supporter of the Crossroads Center, a drug and alcohol rehab facility he founded in Antigua and has played numerous benefit concerts to raise money for a variety of causes. Clapton has been recognized with numerous awards and honors throughout his career, including 18 Grammy Awards and induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame three times, both as a solo act and as a member of the Yardbirds and Cream. In 2004, Rolling Stone magazine ranked him number four on their list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. Despite personal struggles with addiction and tragedy, including the death of his young son in 1991, Clapton has remained a vital force in music for over half a century. His gifts to the worlds of rock and blues music have earned him a place in the pantheon of guitar greats, and his influence will no doubt be felt for ages to come. One, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix was an American rock guitarist, singer, and songwriter, widely viewed as one of the most influential and inventive musicians of the 20th century. Born Johnny Allen Hendrix in 1942 in Seattle, Washington, he began playing guitar as a teenager and quickly developed a unique style that joined together elements of blues, rock, and psychedelia. Hendrix's guitar playing was characterized by his virtuosic technique, innovative use of effects pedals, and experimental approach to songwriting and recording. He was known for his use of feedback, distortion, and the wah-wah pedal, as well as his ability to play the guitar with his teeth and behind his back. In 1966, Hendrix moved to London, where he formed the Jimi Hendrix Experience with bassist Noel Redding and drummer Mitch Mitchell. The band's debut album, 1967 SRU Experienced highlighted Hendrix's incredible guitar playing and quickly established him as a major force in the music world. Over the next few years, Hendrix released a string of groundbreaking albums, including Axis, Bold as Love, and Electric Ladyland, which featured his iconic cover of Bob Dylan's All Along the Watchtower. He also performed a legendary set at Woodstock in 1969, where he famously played a psychedelic version of the Star Spangled Banner. Hendrix's guitar playing has had a profound influence on generations of musicians. His use of feedback, distortion, and other effects has become a staple of rock and roll, and his innovative approach to songwriting and recording has inspired countless artists across genres. Sadly, Hendrix died in 1970 at the age of 27, but his legacy as one of the greatest guitarists of all time endures. He was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1992, and his music continues to be cherished and revered by fans and musicians alike. In addition to his musical legacy, Hendrix is also remembered for his iconic fashion sense and his political activism. He was a vocal advocate for the civil rights movement, and he used his platform to speak out against racism and social injustice. Jimi Hendrix's seismic impact on the fabric of music and popular culture is etched in the annals of history. His groundbreaking approach to the guitar and his unparalleled creativity have earned him a permanent place in the pantheon of rock and roll legends. Hendrix's music transcends time, resonating with audiences across decades and continents, ensuring that his legacy will endure as a guiding light for musicians and fans alike, a testament to his unrivaled genius and the indelible mark he left on the world.